Hello everyone, I'm your host Florian Stolmeyer. Our topic of today is Rex Allen, the Arizona Cowboy. Since my childhood when I heard his recordings of the streets of Laredo and only the hangman, I was fascinated with his beautiful and smooth bass baritone voice. Rex Allen was born on December 31st, 1920 in Wilcox, Arizona and died on December 17, 1999 in Tucson, Arizona. Rex Allen was next to his glorious singing, also famous for his acting and as a narrator of Disney Nature and Western Productions. He was also one of the last singing cowboys. In 1948 he signed with Mercury Records and in 1952 switched to Decca Records. In the early 1960s he returned again to Mercury Records where he recorded his hit record, Don't Go Near the Indians, in 1962. This song is about a young man who fell in love with a pretty Native American girl without knowing she is his biological sister. The young man's father had a clash with the Native American tribe and kidnapped him as a young baby and raised him as his own son after the man's biological son was killed during that awful clash. In the 1950s, Rex Allen was also a star in many westerns, such as The Arizona Cowboy down Laredo right Way, or in a TV series called Frontier Doctor. Furthermore, he narrated many Disney productions such as The Legend of Lobo in 1962. All in all, he has recorded 12 albums, whereas I especially like Rex Allen singing and tells tales of the Golden West in 1962. Furthermore, there is Bonnie Need Harry Leg Cowboy songs, which Allen has recorded in 1973. This album includes a lovely version of The Streets of Laredo, Gone Girl, and You Never Give Up On Me. In 1975, Rex Allen received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in Los Angeles. He was introduced into the Western Performers Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City in 1983. There is also a book about his life story called Rex Allen, My Life. Sunrise to Sunset, The Arizona Cowboy. His son Rex Allen Jr. has also a great career as a country and western artist. In his hometown Wilcox, Arizona, there is also a lovely museum, the Rex Allen Arizona Cowboy Museum, which features a collection of his memorabilia, things like photos, movie posters, cowboy outfits, records and music instruments. Across the street from the museum is a bronze statue of Rex Allen. As I walk down in the streets of Laredo, as I walk down in Laredo one day, I spied a young cowboy all dressed in white linen, all dressed White linen, as cold as it lay. The drums low, lay the pipe low, lay the dead monks and One warm summer evening when
went down to the station to catch me a train. Rode west through Missouri and into Wyoming. Headed out to California to stake a gold claim. I met her at Clancy's, the cause of my trouble. A woman with beauty for all men to see. She fed me rye whiskey and gave me a six gun. Said the fools do the digging, smart men work for me. There's gold in the mountain, gold in the valleys, gold in the rivers, and gold in the sea. Fortunes are waiting for men to claim them, but only the hangman is waiting for me. She gave me her favor, I gave her my six gun. We cheated most all of the miners in town, and those who complained that she dealt from the bottom were challenged to draw and were quickly shot down. I'm so tired of killing for love of this woman. The notches on my gun are twenty and three. The next one I kill will be my scarlet lover, and that's why the hangman is waiting for me. There's gold in the mountain, gold in the valleys, gold in the rivers, and gold in the sea. Fortunes are waiting for men to claim them, but only the hangman. Is waiting for me. Thank you. 
I really hope you have enjoyed this video about the Arizona Cowboy Rex Allen, who had a beautiful bass baritone voice with a wide range. For many people he had one of the best voices in country western music ever. I am your host Florian Stolmeyer. Please be sure to rate and subscribe to my YouTube channel and buy my new CD on Amazon.com called Romantic Nights. You can find the link below. So long friends.